using a PC your whole life, but now you want to switch for a Mac? But how and where do I start? Well, this is the perfect show for you. Welcome to Mac 101, Episode 1, the show that will help you to switch to Mac easier than ever. If you are on Windows 7 or a Vista, switching to Mac would be a bit easier if you are an XP user. Now, as we can see here, this is the interface of any Mac that you currently would purchase. This Mac that will come with all of these programs plus other programs. Now let's start. There's three main parts in the Mac. You have the main bar, the, the main bar or the menu bar, as you want to call it. Or you have and you have the icons over here and you have the dock over here. Now let's start with the main bar or the menu bar or you can name it whatever. First of all, you have this Apple logo. It just represents the startup which uh, you have in your Windows, which is the, the flag of Windows. It is the same. But here it does not have programs. It have all the information about this Mac and the software updates, Apple stores where you get your stores and system preferences is uh, what you have like the control panel. So basically, and of course the shutdown option. So basically this is all controls what you want to do with this machine. Then you've got Finder. Now Finder is a bit like search and more to like uh, the CD drive where you find all your programs and stuff. So if you went to preferences, you will see all of the Finder you can control and see you can customize all of the things that you have on your Mac. So this is basically all of the things that you currently use in your Mac. Now file and edit and view, they're all the same. Now there is one thing about Mac. There is no uh, what you call it, right click. There's only left click. So if you want to left right click, like add new photo or add new folder, sorry, or a new window, you can either go to file or edit, of course, to undo or select or copy and view to arrange. So all of these, you can see them in the right click in your windows. That's right. So you either go to these three or you can just you can just press control and then the right click or the mouse click. And you can either make a new folder and, or get info or of course change. But if you want if you want a more specific thing, more specific options, you can go to these up. Now go is where is a quick launcher. It's just like the windows where you go here and you choose programs. Go is separated. You either go to your computer and of course these are the shortcuts. So this um, arrow going up is a shift. This is command. You will see it in your keyboard and this is C, of course, the letter C. So this is all of the things that you will find in your computer that you can launch it faster than going to Finder and then going to where you want to go. So for example, uh, if you want to go applications, applications is the name, the, the, what you call it, the other name for programs. So it, they are programs or called application in Mac and programs in Windows. So here is all the application that you can find in your laptop or computer. Now both most of them are not pre-installed. We'll get to that later on. Now Windows and Help. Help, of course, is the same Help Windows that you, uh, Windows you can, you can uh, find in Windows. Sorry. So it's the same thing if you want to ask for help or question. Now Windows is basically anything you do with a window, with a normal window, like a program. So it's just separated. Come over here. This is the screen flow, which I'm recording right now, is an icon. Some of the programs display their icons up here so you can quick uh, do options. Like if I click right now, I can stop or pause or hide desktop. So these are options. This is the time machine. This is the Bluetooth. Every new Mac has a blue built-in Bluetooth. This is the airport. No, it's not the airport that you're going to. It's the airport, which is the Wi-Fi. Airport is the same uh, word for Wi-Fi. So you can choose Wi-Fi, which Wi-Fi you want to control, and just by a click, you will switch to it. The American flag right here is the language. 
you can either use US English language or Arabic which is I made or I installed to my laptop or computer here you have the volume up and down and you have Sunday the date and the time here is is the spotlight this is as theme you remember when you go to your uh, computer and you open up the logo and you find over here is the search where you can search for programs this is the same so for example if we searched for anything like text edit for example anywhere anything with the word text will show either it's a music a font a web page or anything of course you can customize the option of that we can get to it later on I'm going to the second bar part, which is the icons over here. Now, as you've noticed, that Mac does not may does not put their program shortcuts on the desktop. So, these are the icons that you will find is only the hard drives slash SD card slash CDs, and some of the folders we get to it right now is the CDs or the things that it's hooked up to your laptop. Or computer so you don't need to go to computer because there is no computer option on Mac so all of the hardware and, uh, and SD cards or um, USBs will show up directly here as soon as you plug it in now as for folders uh, you have the option either to when you download uh, a file either to put it on your desktop so you have either you can save it or drag it to your desktop if there's an important file for example now I'm going to the third part, which is the dock, which is up, down, sorry, down here. So let's start from the, this is, I arrange it as you will, uh, as soon as you open your Mac, you will see this arrangement. Uh, so let's start with the first thing is Finder. Finder, as we said before, is, sorry, let's minimize it, yeah. Finder, as we said before, is where you find all your your uh, files, documents, application, or programs that you have in your lab, the computer. So everything you find is in here. Now, before I close it, if you've seen these X or are in the right corner, upper corner in Windows. Now they're in upper left corner in Mac. Either you maximize it, this is the maximize, or you can adjust the maximize by dragging this little thing up and down as the height you want. Or you can minimize it, which is will go down in the dock, and all you have to do is click it, and it's up again. Or you can close it. Now you see this blue ro uh, light, little light. This is indicates that this program is still open. Now this is the difference between a Mac and Windows. When you click the red X for the files, I mean, if you put opening a file, like for example, we opening this file, okay. You can close it and it's voila, it's closed. But as for programs, like for example, we take a mail, if you click the X, it's still on. And that means that you have to close it by pressing Command Q that will close it forever. That means you have to reopen it just like Windows. So if I open it, to open again. So it's this, this I found a little bit annoying because Sometimes you forgot and you don't close your your um, your application. Now let's start with the second one, and it's the dashboard. Dashboard or the widgets, as you know uh, in the um, in our Windows, where you find them in your right corner. We have the calendars and weather and etc. Now these are the widgets that we have on your Mac. You can add more and go out by clicking the F4. Uh, key on your on your keyboard you'll see there is a little meter on it if you're using an Apple keyboard and then mail we've got mail mail is also is mail is like where you can check your mail either if it's a Gmail messenger or hotmail what they call it Yahoo American online anything you want you just open you, uh, it's like an outlook you can just put your account and you're off to go Safari is the main browser in this. You can download, you can download Chrome and other things such as, uh, as I say, sorry, Chrome and uh, Safari and Firefox, but I'm not sure about Internet Explorer. iChat, iChat is uh, basically, uh, 
basically if you have a Google Talk or Yahoo Messenger uh, Yahoo Messenger right now there is an application but if a Google Talk then you have to download or it comes pre-installed sorry that's the iChat is you use it for chatting with your friends because some applications are not really working with um, like Google Talk there's no Mac version so you have to download iChat for it address book is where you have all of your address uh, in here installed right here and all you have to do is just copy them and, or paste them from your Google account or you can just write them down iCal is where you can uh, put reminders and uh, uh, specifications or you can uh, you can even put an option to send you an email to remind you that date preview is where you view uh, is every time you want to open a picture for example let's open a picture this is the preview this is where it shows you the picture that you're using right now so this is all about preview and you've got iTunes. iTunes, of course, if you're familiar with iTunes, there is a Windows also, of course, um, program for that. Is where you listen to your songs, basically. And you have Photo Booth. Photo Booth where you make funny faces, funny backgrounds. It's just for fun. You can upload either email it or upload it to Facebook or Twitter. iPhoto is where you put all your photos in. Um, to arrange it now there is a folder of course you can put them on the folder but I thought to arrange it e either on events or faces that text or the faces on your photo and arrange it in folders iMac which I'm using right now is uh, the, the program is like Windows Movie Maker but for the for the of course the Mac GarageBand which is I don't really use a lot now, GarageBand is where you, of course, make your music, uh, make your own music, like mix, mix the music, remix it. Time Machine is, as I told you, is if you have lost a file, you just click it and you go back in time till you find it. Or like if you go in Tuesday or let's say Monday, 27th, um, let's say over here and you can retrieve this file after you've um, deleted from your computer but you can just retrieve it by that very nice animation okay we have system preferences it's, it's a control panel for um, the Mac you have appearance background stock and expose these all of the things that you will find you can customize in your uh, Mac screen flow you don't get that with the mac you have to download it buy it actually now we come to the file section the file section is where you have applications as we said before what it's called yes that's right it's programs these are all the programs that you will download or have with your mac now most of them like uh, i'd say 25 percent of them does not come with the mac i downloaded myself for example, like the app cleaner and the DVD player, DVI, DVIX player, sorry, and the handbrake, they're all come, you have to download them. As for others, like dictionary and front row and synchronize and QuickTime, they already pre-installed to your Mac. All you have to do is just open them and it works. Now, the second thing is documents. Documents is where you file, put all your files and folders inside uh, basically you can as I said before for example social links I want to put them on the deck and on the desktop sorry and here they are on the desktop now they are not available on the documents anymore so I can just drag them and put them on documents and they're back in documents downloads is where you download like for example you went to Safari and download some pictures you'll find them all mostly over here these are the the windows that you minimized like for example, I minimize this copying so uh, so it doesn't interfere in my work, and I just can put it over back, over here back. Now trash, trash you'll find this all uh, it's a normal trash, just like Windows. You can just highlight and empty it, and you're off to go. Now there is a difference. If you want to empty it, you can just click empty but small icons or small folders will be kept in your computer just to make sure if you want to retrieve them back from the time machine 
Now, if you want to completely, completely destroy them and never come back to them, what you have to do is go to Finder and secure empty trash. When you secure empty trash, you won't um, be retrieving back in any way possible, so be careful doing that. Now, so going back to what we took, we took the main bar, which is all of up there. We took about the icons over here, and we took all about the duck. I hope that will help you with your new Mac, and congratulations on your Mac. So thank you for watching. Subscribe so you'll be notified. Notified it. Sorry. Once the next episode will be now. If you have any ideas, if you wanna have a question, a quick question, just put it, post it in the comment below, or. So even Twitter or Facebook, all the social links are down. And don't forget to visit our new blog, One Tech Republic, where your question will be answered in less than 24 hours. Plus, you will be updated on any tech news. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video.